notice how scary movies just aren't complete unless there's at least one scene that takes place in a cemetery? Sometimes, that is better. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 spooky movie graveyards. Looked a bunch of people in a cemetery who are stark, staring, mad, and they'll kill you and eat you if they catch you. It's like a disease, it's like rabies, only faster. It's a lot faster. That's why you gotta come in here right now and get us the hell out of here right now. For this list, we're choosing the most memorable and creepy graveyards or cemeteries depicted on the big screen. Oh! 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 Rado Luffy, quick! Come get the bandages! Number 10, Night of the Living Dead. They're coming to get you, Barbara. It's just never a good sign when a movie starts out in a graveyard. You know, I figure we're either gonna have to move mother out here or move the grave into Pittsburgh. And if the person you're with in the graveyard makes tasteless jokes, the consequences can be deadly. One of the residents might get angry and take offense. Oh! The fact that the cemetery scenes in this classic zombie flick were filmed in a real Pittsburgh area graveyard enhances the scare factor even further. Number 9, Plan 9 from Outer Space. Those incidents in the graveyard these past few days just got me worried. Combining an unusual mixture of aliens, flying saucers, ray guns, as well as zombies rising from the earth in a dark, foggy graveyard. This campy classic is equal parts horror film and science fiction flick. There's also some Cold War era paranoia and government intrigue thrown in for extra fun. You realize there's a government directive stating that there is no such thing as a flying saucer. In addition to its ghoulish graveyard, the film boasts the talents of Bela Lugosi, one of the early masters of the horror genre. But from the blast, arose the moving figure of the dead old man. Number eight, Cemetery Man. <sighs> Aside from tasteless jokes, another activity not recommended in a cemetery is sex, particularly when the object of one's affections happens to be the widow of someone recently buried in that same cemetery. <sighs> Doggy! <laughs> The film's main character is a caretaker who lives on the grounds of the graveyard he maintains. This is my business. They pay me for it. But this isn't just any graveyard. In fact, it's especially high maintenance because its residents tend to rise from their resting places and are reanimated into violent creatures. This leaves the main character with the responsibility of killing them before they attack the townspeople. <laughs> Number 7. Beetlejuice Have a trouble with a lily? Although the graveyard in this movie is actually just a model of a graveyard within a model town, it's still plenty creepy. I think we're in the model. Especially when the title character rises from his fake grave. The graveyard is funny and scary at the same time, with its combination of lurid neon signs, foam rubber grass, and flashes of lightning. With all that happens there, it doesn't even matter that the cemetery isn't real, or that it's miniature. Its impact is anything but small. What do you think of this? <laughs> you like it? Number 6. The Omen. It is an old cemetery from Etruscan times. This creepy cemetery has it all. A forbidding looking wrought iron fence, a spooky gothic church nearby, plus storms and vicious animals that seem to materialize out of nowhere. <laughs> Not only are its residents dead, others who enter also may meet their demise here, with unnerving regularity and in particularly gruesome fashion. <laughs> Whether daytime or nighttime, rather than being a place of peaceful rest, the Omens Cemetery ranges from being merely gloomy to downright terrifying. <laughs> Number 5. The Addams Family Franchise For you, life is all fun and games. A dance in a graveyard, stench, decay. In most movies, the characters that are still alive seek to spend as little time as possible in cemeteries. Out to the cemetery! Come on, everyone! I've never played this before! How does it go? Did you bring a shovel? In fact, even the dead characters are often trying to get out of them. This is not the case with Gomez, Morticia, and the rest of the Adams clan. 
for them. The graveyard is a place to dance, play, or even indulge in a bit of romance. Though dark and gloomy, this graveyard is also special because it's a happy place where the family can keep in touch with ancestors who've passed on. Aunt Laborgia, executed by a firing squad. Cousin Fledge, torn limb from limb by four wild horses. Number four, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Where are we? In the land of wizardry and witchcraft, a graveyard is, not surprisingly, also filled with the supernatural. You ended up in that graveyard tonight because it was meant to be so. And now the deed is done. Blood that runs through these veins runs within the Dark Lord. The graveyard in this fantasy flick is literally straight out of Harry's nightmares. I've been here before. It's dark and gloomy, like most great movie cemeteries, but there are other unique features that make this one extra creepy, including a statue of the Angel of Death that comes to life and keeps Harry from being able to move or defend himself from evil. The fact that this cemetery also happens to be the place where the Dark Lord stages his return makes it all the more terrifying. My wand worked out. Number three, Return of the Living Dead. We could go fool around in there for a while. You mean that cemetery? Oh, oh, oh let's uh. do that. What do you get when you combine a graveyard, zombies, and teenage punk rockers? You get a cutting edge soundtrack, as well as an outlandish cemetery dance scene and impromptu striptease, all of which are featured in this movie. I know you think I'm nasty, but I am no punk girl. Aside from the graveyard dance, this big screen cemetery has all the requisite scary stuff, such as thunderstorms and a multitude of hungry corpses rising from their graves in search of the usual zombie delicacy, also known as brains. <laughs> Number two, Pet Cemetery. Well, where does it lead? Pet Cemetery. Huh. Losing a pet is always a tragedy. So what could possibly go wrong when a doting dad is willing to go to any length to bring about a happy reunion between his kid and a furry friend? How can you call it a good thing? A graveyard for pets killed in the road, built by broken-hearted children. This movie answers that question and shows why reanimating a beloved but deceased pet can be a very bad idea. This cinematic graveyard also has the distinction of being scary enough to inspire a Ramon song of the same name, which is featured during the film's credits. Before we reveal our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. What a filthy job. Could be worse. How? Could be raining. They can't touch us here, right? Well, they can't. We'll have to stop soon, Hazel. They're frightened and tired. There. We'll rest there. Number one, Army of Darkness. A cemetery. There the Necronomicon awaits. This movie graveyard is full of everything that defines spooky graveyards. <laughs> In the scene where the main character Ash is seeking the Necronomicon, there are graves being watched over by demonic creatures carved in stone, flashes of lightning punctuating a general atmosphere of doom and gloom, trees with long barren branches, and fog. <laughs> But it's the dozens of bony, reaching hands exploding from the tombs like landmines out of the depths of hell that put this cemetery at the top of our list. <laughs> Do you agree with our list? You know what's really beautiful about this? You two kids pick me. Which movie graveyards give you goosebumps? <laughs> For more fascinating top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Maybe there's a better way.